Welcome back, Achievers. Your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of April 26th, 2021. I am one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally with me today, as always, Alex. How you doing? I'm good. Thank you for so much for asking. It's a nice day. It's very quiet. Very quiet night here in Georgia. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Romantic, some say. Hmm. It finally did it rain for once. Yeah, it's been very rainy here. Very mm-hmm. rainy. And it's just been quiet. I saw the raccoon earlier. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. B- building up the Easy Achievers lore page. Um, oh, is so, that right? Yeah, this was just the one raccoon. But it was still mm. a smaller raccoon. So my, my mm. theory is one of the uh, mama raccoons birthed the two raccoons that came by that one day. Now is that, <laughs> that one of the babies is just kind of by itself now. Probably hmm. left the mother. To go do mm. other things. It's like, I can do this on my own. Man. I don't need you. Right? Yeah, I, I saw something grow up and leave its mother. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We could probably find some meaning in that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> we have a smacked episode for you today. And we I do. mean smacked. Not only do we have two events to cover, we have a game leak. We have mm-hmm. so much, and me and Alex have played a good bit since we've talked. Yes. So we're going to yes, save... Yes. We're going to save game talk for middle of the show because I want to really get into this first half and we're going to have a nice break in between the two events and we're going to talk about what we've been playing. How's that sound, Alex? Sounds dandy, mister. Alrighty, so before we get into that, of course, remember, this is the Easy Achievers Game Podcast. You can support us in a number of ways. Financially, of course, through patreon.com slash easy achievers. You go there, look over the tiers, do what you can for us. We always appreciate it. If you want to support us, freely then it's quite easy either you like the video you're currently watching on youtube you comment or you subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified every time we upload or if you're on a free feed on some sort of podcast service you leave a five-star review that helps us a lot you're helping us algorithmically almost equal to giving us a dollar so that can kind of equal out regardless or you can as double you will. Up. yeah you can only double up too mm-hmm. now let's get into this Today, Alex, I found on my Twitter mm-hmm. something very strange. Tell me. This is a strange one. So there was a YouTube video uploaded to a very weird YouTube channel name. I didn't write it down. I can grab it in a second, actually, when I throw it to you. Uh, but okay. it was like a bunch of random numbers and letters. I think someone just wanted to make this channel to p- upload this. But it seemingly leaks a Mandalorian game. Mandalorian is, of course, the very popular uh, show on Disney+. Plus. Uh, the video itself is very crude, and it's like reminiscent of one of the v- movie sites you'd go to to watch some knockoff-branded movie where a dude is mm-hmm. holding like a little camcorder in his pocket, and he's trying not to move so he doesn't jiggle the thing. It looks just like that. It, it <laughs> looks so much like it that there's someone standing not in front of the screen, but their head is kind of above the screen, so you see the outline of the head. So it's just like if you watch some, like a downloaded movie of what did I what 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 look, we used look, to. To what? me, it, to me, it literally looks like somebody's playing it in the living room, and there's two child, two children underneath just watching it. That's it what it looked like. It to could me. be kids. I'm not. I I I guess I I don't know. Why. I mean, it, I hope. I I don't know. It looks like a, a grown man, but maybe I'm wrong. I I was like really focused on the gameplay, so maybe that's why. But mm-hmm. I saw like like blonde hair and stuff, so I didn't know. But um, uh, it showcases a bunch of stuff. First off, it uh shows a little baby Yoda in the title screen. Mm-hmm. It shows a good bit of things. Actually, you know what? Why don't we show and not tell the achievement? Why don't Do we it. just we don't we just Do show it, man. that? Do it. <laughs> God, Alex. Sorry, I'm in a mood tonight. No, it's okay. I understand. So I tried to prep this beforehand, Achievers, but I'm having technical issues. So if you just give us a second, we're going to talk about a little bit about the seemingly leaked video game that we saw. Alex, what did you think of the... First off, do you think it's real? Yes. Because the the way the gameplay is, it seems very specific. Mm. And like even like with the like simp- it's just it, but at the same time the, like it shows a UI, which is too simplistic to me, to make it seems like it's fake. 
So I don't know. Like, mm-hmm. it, like to me, it looks like an like an old like the way the UI looks. There's literally just your gun and a little map. So like that's it. To me, it, the way it looked, it just seemed like an old like PS2, PS3 game. Now the gameplay looks cool. So I just don't know how to take that. Yeah, the little bit we saw was very much like it looks cool. If this is fake, this is an elaborate fake. And I mean mm-hmm. elaborate. Like someone took a long time to make this fake. Like it's a game. Don't know if it's a Mandalorian game that, that's gonna be released, but somebody created something. Yeah, to somebody make it look created like it. something. And it looks yeah, it looks cool, but it definitely is not like something yeah. that's coming out tomorrow if it is real. God no, God no. I think it I think this is probably like early development. And it's probably like probably even before Alpha. Like so, like I'm thinking. Yeah, I don't probably. know. I, 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 I don't think we'll see this game for another like two years. Yeah, yeah, de- definitely like not another t- two years. Oh jeez. Givers, we might not see this. Are you this having is technical so issues? Yes, yes, I am. I am. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Mm-hmm. We're not gonna worry about it. Now if, the thing is, are you hardwired? I am. That's the strange okay. thing. I think it's just the computer. I need the upgrade. We've talked about it, Alex. Yep. Behind yep. the scenes. I finally did it. I, you you got to do it. You, I, I do need to do it. I need to get a mm-hmm. good. I need to get a good PC. I don't know what I'm doing with the PCs. Oh Jesus! This isn't the original video. Okay. Why don't you just? Never mind. I was gonna say, why don't you pull up the video that you sent me? Okay. So no, I got it. I got it. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna hold on. Click that. Click here. Okay, so achievers, look here. Is. Look on the YouTube if you're on YouTube audio. I'm uh I'm gonna explain it while we're going through this. Literally, picture the Mandalorian, picture an Imperial ship. Now he's shooting his laser gun at people. Um, you're pretty much in one of the episodes. Spoilery, yeah. not spoilery. Nah, yeah, not really. Spoilery. But, no details, no but like, details. But like he's 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 in his. What is it called, Alex? You're really good at remembering stuff like that. The armor. Bell. Bell. Let's go. Bell co- best. Is that best armor? armor? Yeah, Beskel yeah. Armor. He's in his shiny armor. He's walking around. He looks cool. This looks like a cool game. Again, look how. I mean, this, like, I, this is a real you game. Just, but you see what I mean? Like the UI in the HUD, like the way he moves, it looks very um, dated. It it looks janky. And again, but like, but him and kind of like the ship looks good. So it's kind of like back and forth. I'm like, this looks good, but this doesn't. So like, you could definitely tell this is like in the works so it, i feel like that's why i feel like it's more on the line of it is real achievers um i did pause at a specific point where he brings up his little i don't know you like basically it's your a, ui that you'd pick a, a omni a, tool yeah <laughs> ability uh it looks like it's we have the blaster pistol the grappler the beskar spear the beskar, flamethrower jetpack grav charge and it gets really blurry near the end I can't read that. Um, oh, the orbs, missling orbs. I think that's the orbs that he mm-hmm. yeah, like, that shoots just, out and it messes people up. Yeah, they go. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna. So it's skip pretty ahead. much straight up in the show. That's yeah, what it yeah. feels like. It doesn't really show much after this. Honestly, he's just like debuting a bunch of stuff. At first, when it sh- f- first showed, I feel like that's the Mandalorian enough. and in the main menu, I thought it was a Telltale game. It look. It doesn't look great again, but this is it's it's almost like not it the way it looks it tells you a lot about a video game first off it mm-hmm. tells you if it's most likely real or not i feel like that's mm-hmm. pretty real yeah unless we got a a psychopath out there that like wants like five minutes of fame and he like made this very elaborate fake and i guess gave it to his buddy and played it at his house with his kids watching and then the guy videotaped the thing and put it on it's weird this is weird the only, i man, think the only it's thing real. i can say is this the only thing i can say if it's real <laughs> somebody's fired man yeah yeah so it's fine achievers fun fact they have ways of stealthily finding ways on uh how people leaked it for instance mm. when someone leaked the 360 dashboard update do you remember this alex the, mm-hmm. the waves so you remember the waves kind of like uh it was the one where we had the cards going left to right oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. leaked that so the okay. waves on the bottom of the screen turned into barcodes okay. no one knew oh. this other than the people who made it so when the image leaked they fucking scanned the barcode at the bottom and it told them exactly mm-hmm. who leaked it and i bet that guy got fired <laughs> 
It, Microsoft is very tricky with that shit sometimes too. Yep. Like, okay. ha- like adding, a- like a- like had adding barcodes to the mysterious things, numbers. Like there was one time I think it was one of the Halo games, right. and, and like there was a it was either trailer or something was going on. And there was a bunch of numbers, and in the scramble of numbers, there was a code. It was a redeemable cyberpunk. code. What is that cyberpunk? Yeah. I thought the, that was Halo. It was Cyber. I mean, Halo might have done it. I, you have a really good okay. memory, so I wouldn't be shocked if you remember that. But I remember Cyberpunk did that, and there was a code for The Witcher Three in it. Mm, I believe it was The Witcher Three. I could be wrong. Achievers, uh, correct us. Uh, uh, thank you, first off, for any corrections at the bottom of the comments, and also keeping us honest because we get a lot yeah, of we, stuff wrong. We're we're very ignorant, so we just talk about <laughs> yeah, we yeah. We just talk out our asses. All right, let's get to. The Xbox Gamecom Showcase. Yes, we... Uh, uh, Alex, this is something I skimmed through. Not only was it not interesting, uh, but it wasn't really newsworthy. So mm, if you want wow. to... It, the things I'm going through, if you want to be mm-hmm. like, that sounds interesting, YouTube okay. YouTube it up. Everything's on YouTube that you can watch. If you want us to talk more about it, write in. We'll cover it in the next show. I'll do a little write-up for you. But this is... As of the show. So everything from the show in order as listed. So they opened it with Dying Light 2. I feel like I don't need to describe what Dying Light 2 is because we've seen it, I feel like, a thousand times. Parkour zombie I mean, game reminiscent of Dead Island mixed with Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge. Yeah, yeah, Mirror's Edge. It, 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 and it's like the crafting system, I would say, from, from like Dead Island. Definitely. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it. So, I mean, you don't gotta... I don't gotta keep... I, I don't have to keep looking at it because I, I know I'm gonna play it. I feel like everyone... I feel like everyone's gonna buy it. So like we didn't I feel yeah. like we don't need people who who like Dying who would like Dying are gonna buy it. So I was like I like I don't even gotta look at it. Alex, can you can you get a date for me for the Dying Light 2, please? I did not put it I forgot. December seventh. Thank you. It is December seventh. Mm-hmm. I knew it. I had to doubt myself. Flight Simulator is getting a giant update. September seventh, they're getting new aerial maps, adding more landmarks to places like Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. And September in November 7th. They will be adding air taxis. They're very happy about this. They air taxis. About it. Yeah, yeah. So you should see these things. They look weird. So think of like um like a pod, and it's got a giant circle around it. Mm-hmm. It looks like a drone, mm-hmm. but with a pod in the middle, and you could get in it and drive. It's weird. Look, at, you should look just uh, air taxi, Microsoft Flight Simulator. It'll come up. Oh, weird. They also, yeah, they also announced Humble Games is coming to Game Pass now. Humble Ooh, Games what? Publishing. So. Humble Games is a is a publishing studio. Mm-hmm. So if they publish a game, there now is an agreement that they will launch on Xbox Game Pass. That's cool. It's very cool. They some, they, they demoed they like ten. Games on there. Yeah, yeah. They demoed like ten um, titles that all mm-hmm. looks really nice. Into the Pit was kind of my I would say game of the show. I guess, but it's not. I wouldn't say much. It's it's like a. Do you remember Avowed with like the magic hand spell that it ended with? Yes. It yes. has that kind of feel if you look at the trailer. It's a lot of like hand yeah. magic stuff going everywhere. It look really cool. Like, I am honestly kind of excited for this. We didn't get much about it though. Okay. And then they go to, oh my God, Alex. You won't, you literally won't believe what I'm about to tell you. You're going to think I'm joking. Age of Empires 4 is set to release October 28th. And for for some reason, we got a History Channel-like documentary on trebuchets and it felt like it lasted a million years i couldn't Dude. believe how long we talked about trebuchets i think there was i think this is why i don't remember the rest of gamescom because i remember seeing something about a catapult and i was like they were click. demoing how to use it when it was used they were talking they about me how to make it so i could make one in my backyard and I they mean, like, kind of did <laughs> like it was <laughs> alex i was like why are we still talking about trebuchets and I get, I get it. This is how you pay for shows. I sh- I'm assuming Age mm-hmm. of Empires paid f- to do that. You can't control what they're going to show. I mean, you can't. But they've you know, literally they've, been on everything. Yes, Age of Empires for some reason is everywhere. I don't know why. Maybe they got a giant check to do a lot of marketing. I don't know. But I can't stop hearing about Age of Empires four. I am very excited for the game, but I feel like I don't need to hear anymore because it's. Mm-hmm. It's a strategy game. Like you just say, it's a strategy game. People are gonna buy it. Xbox yeah. Cloud Gaming. We've covered on the show before, but this is kind of a mass reveal to the um, uh, general public. This is Cloud Gaming coming to Xbox One and Xbox Series X, uh, and assumably Series S as well. This enables, of course, people to stream games over the cloud versus downloading them at home. Save a little bit on the storage space. Also, mm-hmm. reminders. 
Xbox One players will be able to apparently, as what they said before, play Series X exclusive games because playing over the cloud is utilizing a Series X uh, type architecture to stream you the game. That's pretty exciting. If you do yep. have not been able to buy one or do not have the financial means, you can keep your Xbox One that you already have and potentially play a new Series X games that you wanted to play anyways. Very cool. I can't wait to try this. Now, the golden question, Alex, is Mm -hmm. do I need godlike Wi-Fi for this? Probably. So I don't think I don't think I'm going to be able to use this, but I hope so. Look, I have fairly decent internet. Me too. Let's see if I can even run this. I I I have very good internet. I don't think it'll be that good. Wasteland Three is getting DLC. It's called Cult of the Holy Detonation. Wasteland Three. This comes October fifth. It looks fine. Mm-hmm. If you know, if you like Wasteland Three, there you go. This is kind of cool. See if these is getting a Borderlands theme shipped. Yeah. As of right now, through September seventh, you can play a Borderlands theme shift, and also there is a Mayhem mode inside of Sea of Thieves that you can go and kind of get your Borderlands up. It looked pretty cool. I kind of want to actually good, yeah. jump in to get it because that because you just get the ship and then you can go try mm-hmm. the mode out. So we should try that soon, Alex. Before that, September seventh, we still need to finish the Pirates of the Caribbean thing. We do. We only played. Two missions of that. Two missions, yeah. Two missions, yeah. So we need to finish mm-hmm. the rest. We need to finish the rest. Very shocking, this next one. I was not expecting to see this game. State of Decay yeah. 2 Homecoming was announced. So everyone assumed we were looking at State of Decay 3. I was like, we're not... No. I Thank God no. it wasn't, because that would look no. terrible if it did. But yeah. State of Decay 2 Homecoming was shown. They're adding another map, new bases, new items, the same kind of stuff State of Decay adds. <laughs> Um, Alex, let's hmm. pause for a second. Why are they adding? I would prefer them to make the other game, right? I don't. Why is that? Hmm. This is like the fourth DLC they made for the game. I mean, I mean, I've been asking that about Sims for the last like ten years. <laughs> well, Sims is different. I feel like what, well, like State of K two. Like, I want to. I want State of the K three to be like really That's good. True. So like I'm. Well, I was. I wouldn't say disappointed, but I was like ah like. Oh, no, we we, 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 we really played we played we played two, and then we two. just left we left it because it was like what else is it bring? I liked two. You you weren't as hyped on it, I believe. If I'm if I'm remembering the state of the I, we two played together, but then like it. after after you finished it, I was just like I don't feel like playing this anymore. So <laughs> it lost my interest. You just got a bat, and you're like I don't want it. I I mm. loved it. I don't know why it was very cathartic searching through stuff. You gotta be quiet. You don't want to alert people. This permadeath. So if you die, you're dead like forever. It's really cool. I loved the game. Mm-hmm. I, I can't wait for the third one. Stray Blade. It's a Souls like game. Uh, it's very fast paced. Very colorful too. Um, I'm very excited for this. Then Crusaders Kings Three is getting a console port. This is a strategy game that's already out, but they announced that a console port is coming soon. A reminder that Psychonauts 2 released the day of uh, the showcase, and they were just kind of showcased like, oh, on Game Pass now. Then we got The Gunk. If you remember the no size? Gunk. The Gunk. This was shown off a bunch of times, but specifically it was shown off again. It was originally going to come this month, but it did get delayed. But later on in the Xbox blog, they did say mm-hmm. that The Gunk is coming December. In December. We're getting a cracked <laughs> December, by the way. Dude. And then oh we close God. the show with Forza Horizon 5. We, of course, right before then, I'm sure you all saw mm-hmm. it on Twitter or some sort of social media, but we got a beautiful controller showcase. Beautiful Boy, controller. controller is hot. It, is a light, uh, it is a light yellow see-through controller with pink and blue splatter on it. Very rage-inspired, um, in my opinion, and it mm-hmm. is beautiful, and it immediately sold out everywhere, so I can buy it. Um, and they, Ugh. of course, showcase more of the game. Uh, Forza Horizon 5 is every Forza. It looks great. They're showing off more cars, the beautiful landscapes, driving really fast. I can't wait. It's crazy because I just thought about it, and I was like, damn, we haven't had Forza in three years. Like, Forza Horizon 4 was the last one, and that one came out in 2018. Right. So it's. I was saying I'm surprised that we haven't gotten, like, a motorsport. We didn't get one or- in 2019. Motorport Seven was the last was it was the last one and that that one came out before I believe twenty was that twenty eighteen then let me make sure or is uh because everything you're saying sounds right but I feel like 
Has it really been three years since we got a Forza game? Oh my god. I'll check. Release date for 7 was 2017, so yeah, Horizon 4, so. the last year. So I'm surprised. So wow. I'm like, you know what? It's time. It is definitely time. And I'm glad they took them their time. We're saying time a lot. Oh yeah, finally. Because they kept doing, every year they were doing Motorsport, Horizon, Motorsport, Horizon. So they finally took some time, and I'm like, awesome. Because this one I'm really excited for. Me too. I can't wait for the game. Yeah, because 4 I really liked, but I just never kept playing it. Mm-hmm. This one, I think I'm going to keep playing. Alex. Hmm. You didn't watch most of the game showcase for Xbox, but anything stand out to you the little bit you did watch? I assumed your favorite part was Forza Horizon 5. Yeah, uh, I did watch it. Like I said, uh, I, I started watching Dying Light, but then I thought about it. I was like, I, I'm going to get this game. There's no need. Um, I didn't watch Into the Pit. Into the Pit. I didn't see anything about it. Most excited. Yeah, I have to check that out. I knew about the Sea of Thieves. Yep. Uh, the big thing was, yeah, the big thing for me was probably Forza. Nice, yeah. That that was yeah, my big thing too. Forza, man, the I controller. Wish I could get it. Yep, yep. Oh, you want to hear us upset? We'll talk about that. And yeah. the next we're not, thing, we, we haven't even gotten there yet. Before we get into that, Alex, please, we're gonna take our mid-show break and talk about. <laughs> One question that I asked Alex at the beginning of the show, but this time I left it for the middle of the show. Alex, what have you been playing? Man, dude, I've been playing so much. Let's start uh, with Destiny 2, Season of the Lost. Not only yeah. did we get Season of the Lost, we got the Witch Queen reveal and the Bungie 30th anniversary reveal as well. Very excited for all this. Really quick impressions on the season of Lost. I love it. The new seasonal mode is very fun. Destiny is destiny. I feel like we're in a really good spot in the sandbox and all that stuff. PPP feels fine. They're reworking trials to be more um, welcoming to new players. Please. I'm very excited. I was about to say, let's just say with Destiny, I mean, I'm back. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, it's like in when Dom in Fast and Furious comes out and he's like, a mm-hmm. buck. It's high as fuck. <laughs> Toretto. And Alex, did, did you watch the Witch Queen reveal? I didn't see the Witch Queen reveal, but I did see a screenshot you sent me about that there was Halo themed armor. And oh, boy, oh boy. December that's all that 7th, Bungie's oh. 30th anniversary event will be going oh. live. You will be getting a dungeon that is a pirate themed loot cave style you dungeon. You will be getting three packs of purchable content. If you buy the 30th anniversary, you Work. get both street wear inspired Bungie attire, everything between a needler. A uh, uh, sh- soldier pad, sorry, shoulder pad. I have to concentrate to say that word. Uh, <laughs> for the like the little needler points on the Titan arms to a halo ring as a warlock bond, which is a bond they put on the arm there, and it's literally a halo ring, like oh, so like cool. floating on them. I'm like, oh god, it's so cool. And they're also bringing things uh, from Marathon, <clears throat> like um, a shotgun from Marathon. Uh, um, a claymore from Myth. These are all old games that Bungie made, like way before mm-hmm. Halo. Uh, so I cannot wait for this. And Alex, mm. they're doing it. Mm. Bring back Alahorn. Yes, they are. Yep. I know if, if you don't play Destiny, all this sounds like nonsense. So Alex, you can say end of Destiny talk when we're, we're done with Destiny to spare the people and with the time okay. But shout out to Bungie because my God, I'm am so excited for these next like six months. We get the Witch Queen in February 22nd. We get the December 7th dungeon drop with all the cool stuff. I get to dress up with my warlock with a little bond for the Halo ring. Couldn't be more excited. Enough of Destiny talk. Season lost great. Blah, blah, blah. Alex, what have you been playing? You played more Apex. Mm-hmm. I feel like we don't need to talk about Apex. We talked nah, so much about nah. Apex. So, but what, let's, what else? let's go to the next game that we finished. Well, 12 minutes. minutes. We have a spoiler class live as of... You are listening to this, whether on Patreon or free feeds. And you can hear our full thoughts there, but what a strange game. No spoilers. What a strange game, We're dude. not going to spoil it here because we do have the spoiler cast. That's first, all I'm saying. Our first impressions, very brief. We'll keep it brief because we have a whole episode that you can watch for it. But what? That's my, that's my first impressions. I loved the beginning. The end, I will let... Whoever beats the game, tell me what they think. Alex, 
what 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 are your first impressions when i was first playing it i love um, I, I was digging uh, I you know i was digging it and i was like oh you know this is happening all right it's repeating all right this is happening oh my god and then it gets towards the ending and then it just it excuse my language it fucked me right in them and then in, in, in the temple <laughs> yeah no i get it so <laughs> I've heard like, people's interpretations of this. Mm-hmm. The way I interpreted the game, I feel like affected my overall thoughts on the game. And some interpretations are better than others. And I feel like mine is maybe not closest to the real thing, but it's the way I felt about the game. So I feel like it doesn't matter. It's just, it's, it's how it happened. So it's unfortunate, but I'm, I don't know. I, do you recommend this? Yes, I do recommend the game I because I would like to somebody to experience this type of game. Really as quickly, in, it is point and click, just, just so everyone yeah. knows. I know some people yeah, don't it, like those games. As in this type of game, as I mean, you know, it's a great, it's, it's a good game. It's a good game overall. Yes. But like, as it starts, do you feel the hype? You, know, you want to know what's going on? Everything's happening, all right. this stuff. Right. And then it, it, you're like climaxing. But then it starts leading to a drop. Yep. And I want people to experience, because it does it very differently, because I still like it. Yeah, me too. Even with the drop. It's weird. It's strange. I saw what was happening coming. Oh, yeah. Which affected my thoughts on the ending. I don't know. I've never had such a high and then such a low when I finished the game. You know what I mean? Like, very, it's, still, it's pretty it's rare. Still- still have such a high and such a low but still enjoyed the game yeah and so i would say like like i don't regret playing 12 minutes at all for sure yeah that's what i'm saying like i still i still recommend playing it but but it's just weird it's weird so weird weird. and achievers uh if you go watch that spoiler please leave in the comments what do you think happened I love hearing people's interpretations. I love it. It's my favorite part of the game. Long, how, I don't care how long your synopsis is. Just tell me. Tell me. I want to know. I'll read it. Opening night live, Alex. We both watched is that this. All is that all you were playing, by the way? Oh. um, Oh. I, mean, I almost skipped something very important. Alex, you've played the Rider Republic public beta. And a private beta. Yes, I did. What did yeah. you think? I hmm. I was enjoying it at first. Oh no. Because the way it was the way it, it started was like, oh, this is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And then it started as like, oh, okay, so you can you know this is you can do this. You can do this. You can do this. There's a map shows up. Imagine you're on a bike, but it's a Forza game. <laughs> That's pretty much what this game way? is. So, peep, if you like Forza, I feel like you'll like it, but only if you're into BMX and all this type of stuff. I like that stuff. I'm not into it. So, so I'd rather be in a car. Are you comboing like Forza? Like in Forza, you got the drive gauge. You remember that? Like the more stuff you do, like the high, you get points and things. Is there anything like I, that? I th- yeah because the the more stuff you do you level up or you get and you okay. get certain things and then you can unlock more equipment i.e. in Forza you get more money you unlock more cars in this you can get more bikes you can get more gear and stuff like that so it's just the way it felt the vibrant aspect of it the map mm-hmm. it just even how it started like you know how in Forza it always is it makes takes you through the street car right. and then it, you see it jumps over and there's an off-road car and then you, you do each different type of terrain it's literally the exact same in that in that demo you go through a bike and then it switches and it goes to a jetpack and then it switches and you go to a to a to a skiing like it's like it, mm. it's forza with bmx stuff and it's like it's mm. it's fun if you're really into that stuff and you I mean even if you're not it might be fun i mean i was enjoying myself but like i was just like I think I'd rather just go play Forza. Okay. So, so and maybe it's gotcha. funner with friends, but like when I was playing it, I was just like, okay. Interesting. Okay. Thank yeah. you for the preview. I found it I find it very interesting that one your so the Forza analogy I vibe mm-hmm. with 
but then you immediately say, I might as well be playing Forza. And I'm like, so it's not good enough. It's good, me, but it's not, not good me. enough. It's not good enough. Yeah, not for me mm. because I'm more of a v- I'm more of a car guy when I... than a uh, like vehicle like you know yeah. uh, I get, I don't know if you can call it, count skiing and stuff like that as BMX but like X game type of stuff X, you know? yeah, extreme sports whatever extreme you, you sports know. there you go yeah when I when I saw this I originally was like ho- I hoped it was a melding of skate and Forza Horizon that's what, yeah I was that's what I was hoping and maybe it did nail that but maybe it didn't nail it enough for me yeah to me for me it didn't feel that way. Is that all you've been playing? I don't. Uh, I think that's all um, for me. I did go back to Death's Door. I think I'm. I'm. I'm on the last boss, and he's a dick. So I'm just. I gave it a break, mm-hmm. but I did go back to it, and I've been playing it. <sighs> that last door. Oh my god. This isn't any good though. Oh my god! It's so. He's such an a hole. Is it? Um. Ah. Skip ten seconds, achievers. Spoilers mm-hmm. for Death's Door. Skip 10 okay. seconds. Is it the crow? Say yes or no. I passed that. Okay, cool. That's all I need to know. Yep. Cool. You're free yeah. if you got made it to this point. Yep. Um, but no, other than that, I mean, I played that. I feel like there's another thing we've been playing. Oh, uh, Quake. I just started playing Quake. You've been playing the on... hell out of Quake. Mm-hmm. And I'm debating if I want to go back to it <laughs> right mm. now because there's, so there's so much going on right now. We have a lot cause... happening, yes. Yep, Destiny. I want to actually yep. try Psychonauts. We should play Destiny after this. Give me a couple matches of Apex with me, and then <sighs> I'll go to Destiny. Come on, man. That Last never night was really good. That Achievers, you have those nights. You know, you, I, you have some good nights, and you have some horrible nights. We had both of those the other night. <laughs> You're like, I did both. Oh, yeah. uh, opening night live. There we go. Opening night live comes to us, and it opened... With a very, very happy opening with Saints Row. They did tweet this was going to be here. I was, not a, I was not seeing that at all, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did tweet they were going to be here, but again, it's on Twitter. Not everyone sees Twitter, so I don't blame you for not knowing. But they mm-hmm. did. They were like, oh, you might see a reboot. Um, but uh, this is a open world crime game, of course. Uh, the, uh, this spans back from Saints Row 1, 2, 3, and 4. And uh, Saints Row 4, Get Out of Hell, that's kind of the history of the game. It was originally made by the THQ team, and then they had the THQ fire sale, and they sold off all their stuff, and a bunch of different people was able to get it. So they all bought it. Uh, Saints Row is rebooting their entire franchise. So it is an all-new city, and it's called Santo Leso. And it's scheduled to release February 25th, 2022. Alex, Mm. it's not releasing February 25th, 2022. No. I do not believe that. Not only we will cover it later, but February is a st act month. A stacked month. And I'm not talking like, oh, we have like three games. No. We've got like seven. These this games This is literally the first time we're seeing anything about this game and it was a it was an animation like like scene. Yeah, we're not seeing it. I guarantee you we're not seeing this February twenty fifth. Guarantee it. Earliest, if they have to, summer. I I know I I, th- I could see them pushing it to May or or April to really give April. it some some breathing room from everything. I think April. I mean, it looks like a good summer game. Yeah. Then we get the rumored XCOM game that we actually covered during our E3 showcasing show that we mm-hmm. broke down every uh, developer and thought about and talked about every rumor that they had. This is Marvel Midnight Suns. Iron Man, Blade, Wolverine. I mean, so many people are, are on this cover. And they're taking on um, a person named Lilith, which is a mother of demons in this game, um, Marvel Midnight Suns. It is a bunch of uh, devs behind XCOM, uh, uh, Fire Axis, I believe. And they are making a tactical role-playing game starring Marvel Midnight Suns coming March 2022. Another March game. Mm-hmm. And then the, the, main, one of the main person that they're awakening is a brand new superhero they created. I saw that. So it seems like you are. I don't know if you're primarily playing as that character. I don't or, know or not, but I just, I just know that you're uh, the the team that you're with is awakening that character, yeah. and that character is a brand new character. Yeah, yeah. So they've made a default person to be, and then oh god, this computer's so slow. Here, I'm just 
Yeah, because yeah, they, said, they said that they work with Marvel to create the superhero. And then that, that's who was being awake, awoken. Which makes me a little worried about the game. Not going to lie to you, Alex. Because every time they try to do this thing where they're like, we've made a new character just for this experience, it, it's never deep. It's always, uh, uh, it's meant to be you in this world, and they're like, nothing. Mm. You're really, It's really just a conduit for you to experience the world around mm. you, and that person has no development or depth they, or they anything because it's meant to be a, just a average Joe Schmo person walking around doing stuff. They didn't, they didn't give you the... The seal of approval when they were like, oh, don't worry, we've been working really close with Marvel on this character. <laughs> what does that mean? Working close? Like, are you talking to Kevin Feige or something? I know that's not head of Marvel. I'm being a dick. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but for real, like, I don't know. I, I've, I, it's happened so many times in the mm-hmm. past with Marvel games that them going out and being like, yeah, you're, you're, you're the main character of the Southern Pro. I'm like, uh, I don't. I, don't know, I want to play as Wolverine. Why? Well, I don't want to be. Who is this person? I don't even think they have a name. Yeah, they don't want to show it off yet. Like I said, it's their, it's their new soup. It's a new superhero. So it looks like we have uh, just to name a couple off. So we have Blade, we have Iron Man, we have Wolverine, we have Ghost Rider as um, not the regular Ghost Rider, but the newer one. I forget his name. I apologize. The Hispanic guy. Yes, the Hispanic guy. Can't remember his name. I'm sorry, I Achievers. I saw Doctor Strange. I saw. I mean, so many people. Oh, here's the full right here. Yeah. So yeah, Doctor Strange, Captain Ray- America, uh, Captain Marvel, name is Reyes. Ro- Robbie Reyes. Is Robbie Ghost Reyes. Reyes. Yeah. Robbie Reyes. Yes. Thank you. Blade. Ari Blade. Yep. So that's like almost everybody right there. Can't wait. Can't not wait. I will be playing this immediately. I Dude, I like. I, I saw this game. happening. And I thought it was a like Ultimate Lions type game, like I thought it was like I mean, a, just yeah. a whole new type game. And I'm like, oh my god, I can see Elijah just freaking out right now. I, I'm I'm excited. I'm. But then they said it was a ta- it was a tactical RPG, and I'm like, you lost me. Those are those are hard to get right. I was like, you lost you did, me. You did I, lose Alex. Alex isn't gonna be here for this unless I tell him it's really good. I gotta play it first, yeah. and then I gotta tell Alex like, yeah, yeah. it is good, or, or no, you ain't. XCOM has never been my type of game, so no, if it's no. like that, well, you've never been into tactical games at all. Like, mm-hmm. it's just not your thing. Mm-hmm. I'll watch. I'll watch you play it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Call of Duty Vanguard was the next game shown off. Uh, very quick, they were just doing some showcasing of the single player campaign, uh, and it's set to release November fifth. Halo Infinite. There Alex, go. really quickly, Halo Infinite, not at the Xbox showcase, but was here. Kind of weird. <laughs> kind of weird that they didn't have their main game at least partly shown at their conference. All they would have had to do is be like, hey, here's Halo Infinite. Here's a little sneak peek. Uh, you can catch the rest at Jeff Keighley's uh, opening night live. You, you at least get to say, like, they probably we showed didn't. you Halo. They probably didn't have anything ready. They put everything to this one. So. Wow, it's so weird. It's you want to you want people to be happy about you because everyone was dogging on this Xbox Gamescom showcase for good well, reason. It was it was not good. Some people some people do get it kind of like I've seen like I've done this with Deathloop. Oh, this I've seen this game again. Like yeah. if you keep repeating and seeing it, showing it over and over and over again, like it gets annoying. So maybe that some people get like that with Halo. I don't know. Halo Infinite showcase some more multiplayer. <laughs> Um, and they did announce that the game is launching December 8th. Together, and, uh, campaign and multiplayer. Campaign together. and multiplayer. Speaking of which, we are going to <laughs> slice this in half really quick and go back in time to last Friday. We had a developer update, Alex. What did that developer update give us for the month of August? We have one tech preview. This is all in bullet points. Tech preview was a success. They were aware of issues, solving them, blah, blah, blah. Already worked out a year one roadmap post-launch. We have confirmed there will be no campaign co-op at launch and no Forge at launch. Both Halo Infinite will have the campaign and multiplayer during season one. And they expect campaign to release in season two for the co-op, and they expect Forge to launch season three. Alex, they had a year. They said last year that they were gonna make campaign co-op, and it was gonna make it. Who lied? Who did it? 
You know what I mean? It's frustrating for a couple reasons. One, we can't play together. So we're going to have to play the campaign separately, right? Mm -hmm. It's very frustrating. That's, me and Alex have a thing. We play every Halo together oh, uh, launch night. That's just yep. a tradition we have. So we can't do it now, which sucks. Yep. Second, we were promised it, but I'm not, I'm not that guy. I get it. You had to delay it. But three, it's kind of disappointing. Four, Alex, how bad was this game a year ago? We were supposed to get this game a year ago. So if they <clears> delayed it and can't make two core things that makes Halo a Halo, Forge and multiplayer, my God, was this game like on fire last year? What, what are your thoughts on this? Mm, I feel like they... they hmm. I feel like they, they, they delayed it to prioritize on certain things I and they wind up not, not being able to. I do too. I think I think they made a decision. I wouldn't be shocked if last year they went, "All right, what is draining your resources?" If anything, I feel like what they delayed it. They're like, oh, "We're delaying it a year, so we can get all of season one content done right. and already work on season two and three. Have so season nobody, two probably halfway and have it fucking ready." Yeah. So I, yeah, I, I honestly agree. I wouldn't be shocked if they're like, "What's draining your resources?" Well, if anything, the game could have been done already. Might be. Well, and I feel like they were like, hey, what's draining the resources? I feel like they might have been, well, for the co-op is really challenging because we're having to form everything twice. So people playing the game, like nothing, ha you know, and then there's we're getting unique bugs that's only in co-op. So we, it's taking us more time there, too. Like, I feel like they were like, all right, co-op's not going to be their launch. We're going to focus on everything else in the game. Uh, what, what else? Oh, Forge is way too deep uh, because Forge is an insane mode that they add in every Halo. And it's amazing. It's crazy, and people always go nuts for it. They were like, "Yeah, it's the, what we want to do is not going to make it for launch." They're like, "Cool, cut it." And like, I feel like that was a like a very front decision, like immediately. And they were like, "Look, mm -hmm. we're skipping all this unnecessary stuff because we need campaign and multiplayer at launch. Period. We can't have, we can't do split releases. They clearly didn't want to do that for whatever reason. I think." It, of course, is financially because they need to make a lot of money off this. So that's why I think it's it crazy that they even delayed Forge because, as much as Forge is fun, it hasn't been crazy good since three. I would say because, so too. Um, because three had the file exchange thing that they did to the website to where you can get everybody's files or you can pick your top 10 and you can have it on your thing and people could download it. And they got, and they got rid of that. Yeah. So. And like, so I, I actually agree with you, Alex. Profusely w uh, agree with you. I, let us know if you guys disagree, but I haven't felt like Forge being a large oh, component man. of a Halo since three. Four. I haven't played Forge since three. Yeah, four was was a you know whatever. I tried four, but that's five's it. Forge. I if I remember correctly was I terrible. Didn't that. I think I didn't even try it. Was it even? It was in the game, right? Am I misremembering this? I don't know. Whatever it was, even if it was in the game, apparently it was terrible because I barely remember it. But three was the insane one where people were making Duck Hunt. People were making Splatter House. People were making mm -hmm. the, All the murderers. The remember the infected? The big, um, what was it? The mazes? Uh, with the oh God, what was it? Those type of mazes? And then you have the big, big the fat, big daddy or fat, yeah, it was fat, called fat kid. Fat kid. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, yeah I did. Oh, I miss those. Yeah. There's, yeah. I mean, ghost town since then right so hopefully uh, with this one we see a change to that but unfortunately with that's not till season three and they did also mention that uh seasons are three month intervals so that means three months from so nine um, months yeah so in so almost a year so almost after. a year after we will get forge it is unfortunate wow. but we're at least getting the game i guess if you think I we're guess. pissed now achievers sit back Just wait. relax we got a beautiful, 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 beautiful look at two special edition Halo 20th Harvard. anniversary Xbox items. Let's start with the controller. We got a beautiful oh. Elite Series 2 controller modeled straight up out of a Spartan 117 armor piece. The lights on it glow blue. It looks beautiful. And it's gone. It was gone. Immediately. Couldn't buy it. I tried buying it. The site crashed a million times, and I couldn't buy it. So I don't have one. I'm hoping to get one at another retailer. Fingers crossed, but who knows? Uh, so that was sad. Alex, 
uh, you also love the controller, but you were also had no hope with getting one either. Uh, it's unfortunate. As soon, yeah, as soon as it's as soon as it was like, oh, pre-order only through the Microsoft thing, and it said it was out of stock, I lost all hope. Same here. I was like, okay, I was just like, that's one of those things where I'm like, all right, I accept it. You know, that's <laughs> like, one like, I'm I accept not it. Yeah, yeah. So then, I think I don't think anyone saw this coming. Anyone, period. But we had a special edition Xbox Series X. Halo 20th anniversary edition, and it's gone. Mm. Literally, I was watching it, and my wife was like, "That system is so much prettier than the regular one." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, guess what? I can't get it." I actually talked to your wife earlier that day as well. I called her um, to have a conversation. We talked about that whole thing. And I was like, "Yeah, I'm so sad I couldn't get it." And she was like, "It is really pretty." And I was like, "Yes, Jesus, it is. God, God I hate like, it. Even the top has sparkly yes! and it's blue." It had like oh. star format on it. Oh my oh. god, Alex, man! I had my credit card ready, dude. I was gonna, I was gonna drop five hundred bucks, like an idiot, because <laughs> I don't need it. I just wanted it. Oh, but I couldn't. Get I, one. I even told, I even told my wife, I was like, I mean, I've seen like people do custom systems all the time, and but it's Halo, Halo, and Kingdom Hearts are the two biggest things that I love that I need a special edition console so, for. I was gonna I was talking to my wife as well and I literally went there there's like what else edition system would they make that I'd want? Like you said, right? I, Kingdom Hearts is like my main thing, right? That's like the game that means like a lot to me. Mm-hmm. What Final Fantasy 10? Like and and then Halo. So like it, it, it like if if I had bought in that like what else? They're not gonna make another special edition. That I'm gonna be like, well, I'd rather have that than the Halo beautiful yeah. thing I'm in love with. So like as much as like Forza, I'm not gonna get a Forza console. I'm not Call gonna of get. Duty? God no. I'm not gonna uh, Gears. I love that's that, but I'm not getting. I had a Gears, a Gears controller, but it was. I mean, I traded it in once I was able to get a Elite Two. I yeah. Mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Achiever, I, I'm sure you're tired of us complaining, but but we'll move on. <laughs> Cult of the mm. Lamb was next shown off. It's a, a one from Devolver Digital. They showed their upcoming game, Cult of the Lamb. Comes out sometime next year. Cult of Personality. Something I'm very excited for, Alex. Teenage mm. Mutant Ninja Turtles showed off Shredder's Revenge. It's, of course, a mm-hmm. retro beat em up, very, very reminiscent of a retro beat em up on an arcade machine. Uh, and uh, apparently, you can also play as April O'Neil in this. Which is pretty cool. Also, mm-hmm. fun fact: you can play as April O'Neil in the Nickelodeon Fighter game coming out soon. God, you, you, you and Emmett with this game. As he's the only reason I know about it. When I saw it, he, also Cat Dog is in it too. Yeah. Damn. Damn it. Yeah. Right. I did the same thing. I went. Oh, I, I gotta play it now to try it because I get to be Cat Dog and I get to be like a <laughs> like you know he has a move where like he launches like the dog part of him or something like it's gonna be like non- yeah yeah they like flip and stuff like like so it's one of those uh, things where I'm like damn it am I gonna have to like buy this some now? some some attack where he spins in a yeah, sur- in a ball that's like his all he like like like, like yep. no his all is uh summoning his parents like the <gasps> Bigfoot. Like the, for, yeah, like, Bigfoot with the yeah, frog? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the Bigfoot and the frog, like, stomp on someone. Oh, yeah, my God. Yeah. We got ideas. We got to be dead. <sighs> Super Monkey Ball Banana Manium was shown. Oh, snap. Celebrating its 20th anniversary of Super Monkey Ball. This comes out October 5th. And they also revealed, strangely and out of nowhere, that Morgana will be a new character from, uh, uh, of course, uh, Morgana. Persona, right? And pr- from Persona, yes. Will be a character that will be available in the game, so you can be Morgana in a ball <laughs> rolling around, catching bananas, like, cat, getting some bananas. That's uh, when I saw that. I was like, "All right, that's pretty cute. Like, that's cool." I can't yeah. play the game because I vomit. I just vomit <laughs> everywhere. I'd scatter vomit everywhere, so I, I just can't. But I would love to play it if I could. It's a gyro, man. It's like. <laughs> I, I was watching my wife play it, and I went, I have to leave the room. I can't see this. Like, it's just the screen. Achievers, for reference, like, look at my camera right now. It'd basically be like this. Ah! It's that. It's that. It's that, but a video game. And I'm like, why would I want that? Why would it's I that. want that? It's that, and then the ball that you're in is starting to constantly circling because it's two different colors. So yeah. You can see the shades. It's very frustrating. Uh, I love Super Monkey Ball. And you just see the monkey in there going. <laughs> the monkey is 
All right, he's having difficult the technical difficulties. I'm gonna have to like fix it a little better because it's not like legal red, yeah. but it's good enough. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it doesn't fall. Sure. Lego Star Wars Skywalker <laughs> Saga was finally revealed again. Maybe it's gonna finally release this time. Uh, of course, no need for exclamation. But if you don't know, Lego Star Wars is the acclaimed series that is going to start from Episode One all the way to Episode Nine of the Star Wars Skywalker Saga. And you'll be able to play through all of them. It releases in spring 2022. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm very excited for this, though. Very, no, I'm, very I'm, excited. I'm, when this finally comes out, I'll be very excited. I, my wife was walking, uh, walk, uh, walking away from the to the bedroom. And I was like, "Hey, you gonna come play with this with me?" And she turns around, oh, duh, and then walks away. Nice. I was like, "Okay, <laughs> nice." Yeah, I can't. I can't wait for that. Yeah. And that when they started playing the music, I was like, "All right, <laughs> yeah." It's, it in. just looks cool too that they added so many different things because it looks yeah. like you can like fast travel to all the planets. Mm -hmm. it's so cool. You can so like cool. be in an X wing. It looks like and fly around in space. Mm -hmm. It looks incredibly fun. Mm -hmm. We're go we're going back, Alex. The oh, Outlast God. Trials, a new entry in the Outlast series. Outlast takes place during oh the Cold War era. Players will be uh, uh apparently there's some sort of trials, maybe saw like trials. Mm, Comes out yay. next year. Looks, these looks, games are crazy dude they're pretty scary I'm yeah very it's, interested i'll play it um i did not love the last one uh but hopefully this one is a little better which one do you think was uh more scary or the first one or the second one uh the first one. First one okay yeah, i think so the second one yeah i don't know i don't know why i don't know Something why but i have this i have and see i have this weird feeling of like abandoned villages if Screw me up, man. I get it. Well, like, two, isn't it two village? Had, like, it was kind of, it was kind of, it, mess, it was messing with me. Well, two had that one area that was like kind of open, but Outlast mm -hmm. shouldn't be open because you, because for it to be scary, you mm -hmm. can't fucking see anything. So how am I supposed it, to navigate when I'm blind? So it, it was, was open. It was, was open, but it was also that one chick that cuts your balls off. It was on it. Yeah, it was the, 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 the witch. I forgot about that. Yeah. She, oh my god! As soon as I turned the corner. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god and you're like ah! it's just screaming and bloody murder it. yeah it's, that, that game's crazy doki v dokev dokov dok -v. it's a monster know. catching game where humans and monsters known as doki b exist yeah, side okay. by side no date was shown okay far cry 6 I mean, more. do we need to know more about this? The antagonist it's, is the guy from Breaking Bad, the guy who made, sold the chicken wings. Mm -hmm. Doki V, that's pronounced, by the way. Doki V, thank you. Yeah, um, October yeah, 7th, no. it's Far Cry. I mean, it, don't, it doesn't Cry. look any different, you know? It's, it, it, again, I was, I was talking about, I don't, I don't it, like Not I said, it's, the, it's, it's like what I have to say again with uh, Dying Light. I'm going to play it. I don't need to see more of the same thing We've over and so over much again. Far Cry. And it's I feel the like same seen, thing. It's the same. It feels like it's the same Someone thing. Cuts which, in over and over again, and it's like, okay, I'm done. Like, let me play it later, dude. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm. I don't know. I'm worried. New World. Amazon's first game. Amazon yeah, Studios' just, first game, New it. World, comes out September 28th, and they will have an open beta starting September 9th through the 12th. It could be last game. Hey, dude, you're crazy. New World is exploding right now. No, I'm joking. Yeah. I just, it pisses me off because it's still in beta. Like, I swear this beta's been out for like ever. I'm like, come on, release the game already. No, I don't think it's been that long. You might be confusing with something else because I think it started the beta, the, 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 uh, oh, when was that? It was like a month ago, like maybe last month. It's been that long. You might be thinking of when they released that one game and then had to re unrelease it. <laughs> that was really funny. That, that's what I'm thinking. I forget of. what it's called. What was it called? Yeah, see, it was probably scheduled to release in May 2020 and subsequently in August 2021, but it was a delay. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Wait, was it this game? Yeah, this game was previously oh, scheduled to yeah. release in May 2020, but they did. and then subsequently August 20, uh, 20, uh, 2021, but delayed to its current date. So it's been delayed twice. So this is the game they released and went, never mind. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, this so game was even... supposed to release in 2020. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Because I remember they released the, that. You know what? Start, I'm starting to remember. Yeah, they released uh, the game and we're like, 
Ooh. Yeah, they had to unrelease it. <laughs> yeah, and they took it back. Like it's hilarious. Yeah. It's pretty funny. That, but, that's why I was I was, I was annoying, dude. I was no, like, come right. on, release you're it right. already. I completely forgot. Yeah, you are hundred percent right on that. I, I yeah. I, I, look, they shouldn't have released it clearly because it wasn't good. Now it seems like it's good. But, uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a beta, so I mean, no. some... you don't seem very excited. You liked WoW. I you, mean, might, you might like this. I mean, I, I haven't played WoW in forever. I mean, I enjoy it because my little brother plays it and I play it with him. I don't Age play of it Empires own. 4 was shown again at another Next. place. It's the same thing we talked about earlier. <laughs> so I, I'm moving on. Valheim Hearth and Home. It's a Norse mythology uh, open world game. Uh, and it's getting a content update. Hearth and Home. Get some balancing changes, improved gameplay. Comes September 16th. See if you like it. What? I said people like the game. Oh, Valheim. that's right. That is the game people like. I forgot. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I was willing, I was wondering like, what is Valheim? And I was like, I'll, yeah, I'll mention it. The, but yeah. I completely that, forgot. Yeah, yeah that's that's what everyone streams. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Third person martial arts uh, game. Sifu. The Sifu I'm for that game. Coming sep- mm-hmm. February twenty second. No, it's not. Awesome. Not coming then. They're, del- they're going to delay it. That's the same. Why date you guys of, did that to me? Why that's you, the why same date. Destiny. The Witch Queen comes out. They're not. No. Why you guys did this to me? Nope. So. I can't wait though. Did you see that when you lose, you age? Mm-hmm. That's weird. Mm-hmm. I guess you get older and then come back older. Oh, that's weird. I, it, it's like a, it's it's a uh, it's a type of mechanic. Like you know, what was it? It was either Hellblade or it was. Either, I think it was Hellblade. It's like every time you die, your arm gets more black or something yeah, like that. It didn't actually do anything. Yeah, but maybe this one does. There was another game that does that too. Like any, every time you die, something progresses. Like it makes you die closer and closer. <laughs> I forget right. what game it was. I don't know. Let's the see this weirdness. Ended with Death Stranding Director's Cut coming September twenty fourth for the PlayStation Five. They somehow made Death Stranding longer. That's all I'm gonna say. They somehow, they somehow made this game longer. I don't understand how they did it, but they did and it. Add, they, and it's crazy because they've added things that you definitely needed in the original game. You're like, why wasn't this here before? And then things that absolutely don't make sense. Like, why would you need this? Uh, they have a, a, a buddy bot. So you have just a thing that helps you carry stuff why? now. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, that sounds really good. Did you see you could catapult stuff? And it looks like you can catapult yourself, too. I, I, I didn't know that. See, the catapult is the one that I was like, and then I put. Then I saw the the thruster that I love yeah. because then yeah. you could just jump off a hill and go. Pfft. Yep, yep. That's new, the one that I was like, yes. New race tracks, missions, and additional music tracks. Okay, what is this Mario Kart? What the fuck? And you can apparently revisit old boss battles too. Don't know why you'd want to, but may, maybe you get a better time. That game was stressing it for as stressing as it is. It, it, again. They somehow made it longer. I don't understand. It's crazy. I don't understand. I played that game and I was like, is it over? <laughs> like, I was like, saying, yeah, I'm and it never make sure was. The right, I'm it just going to make sure was. I have the right save so yeah. I can get my trophies. Yeah. Oh, you want to tell the Achievers about that? Mm, achievers, if you're going to get Ghost of Tsushima upgrade, make sure your PS4 save is the correct one and not one that's on your system already, but make sure it's the updated one Whichever one's more updated, either the system or the cloud, make sure the most updated one is the one you pick. Because mine was not updated, and I didn't get all my trophies, and that's the only one that shows, and I am upset. So I did I, not get my platinum. So I had a lot of Twitter friends had the uh, same issue. A couple of people traded in their system. A couple of people didn't have their original system with them anymore for various mm-hmm. reasons, and they lost their save. It did not uh, mm-hmm. upload properly, and they just yep. don't have their 100% uh, save anymore. And it's unfortunate. Yeah. It isn't just you. And it's crazy because I had auto upload on, and, and like it just wouldn't upload. But then a storm destroyed mine my system so i think i did a new one and then when i did it uh, it made it got me so irritable that i don't want to go back to this game right now mm-hmm. i'm away to do the dlc mm-hmm. understandable it is frustrating mm-hmm. we did get us um and that is all of opening night live alex what did you mm-hmm. think of the event i don't have really too much to say it was a fantastic I mean, it was event it's a fantastic event i think it it, i think honestly me. i missed something the horizon uh, Forbidden West was shown off and given a date. I forgot February to write that 18th. down. February 18th. 
Um, mm -hmm. Again, February, super stacked. Super stacked. Super stacked. Is it? None of these super, broke. Are, super broke. None of these games are coming out then. They're all lying to you. Now, Achievers... Yeah, I mean, it was fun, but very disappointing with a lot of stuff. Because I really? Couldn't get half the sh I, uh, because I couldn't get half the, sis the things that I wanted. <laughs> oh, in that sense. I get you, yeah. That yeah. Did, that, that like, would soil, like, the excitement. Like, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, like, I mean, like, you're, you're showing something off, and then immediately, like, even before the show ends, it's gone. Like, really? You didn't give enough people time? Okay, Achievers, I have something, um, if you're watching on YouTube. Uh -oh. uh, this is... I just what does that look like from Final Fantasy X, the Griffball Stadium? First off, Blitzball? Jesus. Blitzball. Why, what, what is Griffball? Griffball is from... Um... Is that Halo? Yes. So this Halo is a Starfield Star location. Hmm. That they're, they're just showing some stuff off. And this is one of them. Um, this de developer commentary. I don't really feel like getting claimed, so I'm not going to put anything on. But, but look, it looks, it looks cool. This is one of the places we'll be visiting. Looks like a city on the ocean. Very cool. You said, you said what, what is it, Starfield? Starfield, yes. The Interesting. Bethesda game. Yeah, looks cool. We're going to do a new one called New Atlantis, which if you would have told me the other one was New Atlantis, but I guess this one is <laughs> something else. So let's look at this one. Starfield, yeah. We... There we go. Let's go here. Okay. Literally underwater, so not on top of the water. So, we're underwater so, now. So Bioshock, very Bioshock, yes, very. I mean, clearly inspired by Bioshock. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Oh, you know, are we yeah. under? No, we're not underwater. Are we underwater? Hello? Dude, it has to be. Those are like ships underwater, like blue boat ship thingies. Has to be. Unless know, there's a force, not... unless there's a bubble around the water, and maybe yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's not important. And then Aquila, which sounds like a Final Fantasy X place. Sounds a lot like Kill. Uh, what was that place called? Kilika? Kilika. Kilika. Sounds a lot like Kilika. All right, this is the next one. Aquila. Oh, oh God. It's Tatooine. It's Tatooine. It's, it's Tatooine. This is completely Tatooine. This is just Tatooine. This is just Tatooine. What is this? <laughs> All right. There's, sorry, there's snowy mountains in the, in the distance. So that's a little different. But this is tattooing. If uh, achievers look me in the eyes, I show you this picture, and I'm like, "Doesn't this uh, sketch of the Mandalorian set look uh, pretty cool?" You would have been like, I mean, "Yeah, it looks pretty cool." I mean, you wouldn't have questioned the, anything, anything. You wouldn't have questioned it. You would have agreed. I mean, from far away, that little red little thing oh, looked like I'll one bring, of those little robots. Bring it back. That, like right there at the bottom corner where the red bar stops, that little red it box does. that looks like one of those, a it tiny ad. It, I does. Mean, like, oh. it does look. Good. Well, Alex, oh, do you see? Uh, doesn't that look like a Tie Fighter? Wing all the way in the, all the way into the right in the right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that mm -hmm. looks like a tie fighter okay guys what is this are you just showing me Star Wars things they watch thought we Star would notice watch, watch watch Starfield the word Starfield starts scrambling <laughs> and scrambling and it becomes Star Wars alrighty uh, this is a quick note uh, Blizzard will be renaming their character McCree this is of course a very popular cowboy character that says. Uh, it's high noon. high noon. This is, of course, in response to Jesse McCree, the former longtime Blizzard staffer that appeared in the uh, the very uh, uh, interesting picture of him in the Bill Cosby suite. So, mm -hmm. they are renaming so that? Mm -hmm. They said, give them time, is what they said in the thing, because they're going to have to rename all of the lore. They're going to have to do a lot of different things, so they just asked... They might as well get rid of the character and make a new character. And they can't do that because McCree's like, I mean, he's almost the most identifiable part of the game. I mean, it's high noon. Like, that's the. I mean, that's, that's true, I Overwatch. I don't think they should. Like, yeah. They're definitely going to have to do a lot of more, uh, like, new voice acting or, or like, the people. Because some people who, like, uh, like say, do they say each other's names and stuff in Overwatch? I don't remember. It's been yeah, a long time. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they have small interactions. Okay. Especially so in the have beginning to re, of the game. Re, uh, like, redo those voice actings. Yep. They're going to have to redo every voice line that says McCree. Which I assume is not that many. Not that many, I assume. Hopefully Maybe there is. I don't know. Um, and then we already saw February 18th, Horizon Zero Dawn 2. I had that written mm -hmm. down, but I put it in the wrong area. Apologies, Achievers, for that. Wow. We yeah, have one job. I had one job. Uh, one job. Um, oh, and um, uh, a couple of Saints Row details. Uh, the gang territories are back, so we are going to have different gangs. 
Uh, and there's going to be co-op support. So you can play the whole game with a friend. And it's cross-gen as well, which is like, eh, mm. cross-gen maybe, mm. but it's fine. Mm. It's fine. And uh, who could forget, Alex, it's coming back. 11.11, it's coming back. Skyrim Anniversary Edition was announced over the weekend. It's launching November 11th to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Skyrim. It's going to be upgraded for PS5 and Series X and S. Includes new fishing mechanics. A next-gen upgrade is free if you own the game. And you have over 500 Creation Club elements. That's your date update for the week. Alex, that's the news for the week. You have a very very questionable face on. What's going on over there? The last two things have really grinded my gears. Hey, you just first, so frustrated by all of this? First off, Saints Row cross-gen... You're telling me I'm on a Series X and I'm going to play somebody with an original Xbox One? Yeah. I mean, you'd have to invite them to your game. But that's possible? Is it, that's what, true. What, my textures are going to load is... while his has blocks popping up? <laughs> that's true. I would be I mean, very like... interested to see what that game looks like on an Xbox One. Is it um, weird that I saw, when I first saw this game, I did not know it was Saints Row? I thought it was, I thought it was like a new rebooted crackdown. I'll be honest, I don't blame you. Because I, 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 it, does, it doesn't look it, it, immediately it like Saints Row. It, it doesn't give me a Saints Row feel unless that's what they're going for. They want to completely change the whole Saints Row aspect. I think they clearly it's do. Not perverted because, and it's not like... it's Because it's crazy because I feel like that's what they're trying to do. I think, I think so too because the first and second one was Hardcore Gang. Like you were in a mm-hmm. gang and you were like mm-hmm. popping people in their fucking faces and like assassinating mm-hmm. people. And, so it was wild. The it was th- pretty much GTA, but like just crazier. It was GTA, but somehow like 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 you were doing like, like some nuts, like nuts fucked up stuff. You made like, so can... for reference, you tricked a guy uh, uh, to drive his monster truck over his wife, and then you made him look at his wife's yeah, bloodied body. I remember just that. to give you kind of an idea of like how isn't that, screwed isn't up this that guy. Too? That's two. Isn't yeah. that that's two? Yeah, that's, that's when you thing. fight the. Uh, I forget mm-hmm. his name, but it's he was dressed in red. His thing was red. He liked oh, color God, red. I don't remember. But yeah, you tricked him in. It, th- like, that was like, they made a gang simulator. Like, you had it's a gang. Cr- it's just crazy. If you walked up to your, your gang members, you could honk the horn. They all go in. You can go shoot people and stuff. Like, it was nuts. So I it's don't just, think they want to make that. It's just, it bothers me because, for example, when they go to three, four, it becomes more, you know, the traditional purple Saints Row, you know. You, you, you become beat superheroes. People. You could beat people with, you know, dildos yeah. and stuff like that. Like, like it, it came so crazy, but that's what it was known for. So I feel like now that they're completely rebooting it, they're going to completely change that. And I don't know if I'm going to like I that. I hope it remains it silly. It for that. I hope yeah, it remains silly. I'm hope, yeah, exactly. As long as I'm it's hoping, silly, I don't care exactly. what they do with all of this. I'm hoping it like, remains silly like how it used to be because yeah. that's what I loved about Saints Row. But if it becomes more, I was like, oh, it's more like GTA. I don't need this. Yeah, if they try to be like GTA, it's not going to work. It's yeah. just not going to work. The Saints Row was fun because it was trying to be something different. It mm-hmm. wasn't trying to be GTA. It was something different. <laughs> Remember the minigame in Saints Row 2 where you could drive a septic truck and shoot <laughs> human feces yeah. at everyone? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. That game is wild. I, I kind of miss it. Uh, and at the same time, I'm like, I probably wouldn't like it if it came out today. I don't know. I don't know. I, we never know. And then, don't even get me started on Skyrim. Right. Skyrim... I might come back to it. I don't know. I can't guarantee anything. Yeah, Achievers, I don't know. I don't know. Alex, hmm. that's the news. Week. Yeah. We went over everything. Tell me, what do you got queued up for the week? This, of course, can be a book, a comic mm. book. We're going very long to the, this week. It was a, it was a mini mm-hmm. show, though. Uh, this could be a book, a comic book, TV show, anything, a movie, game. Um, what do you have queued? Well, I complete. I currently finished, or I'm up to date on Titans. Fantastic show. Uh, I recommend watching it. It's crazy. If you like, if you like DC characters, you know, but rated R, it's fun. Um, I want to try to finish that store. That last boss is ridiculous. Uh, I'm gonna play more Destiny with you now that you got me back on it. I am gonna try Psychonauts. I want to try Psychonauts too. Nice. So that's probably my big thing, Psychonauts 2. And there was something else new that I wanted to try. I just can't remember. 
Um, oh, we were playing Aliens Fire Team. Yes, we did. I did yes. not cover that in the show uh, because I forgot. But <laughs> it's Aliens Fire Team. You ever wanted to yeah, play Left it, 4 Dead, but in the Aliens universe? There you go. Buy Aliens Fire fun. Team Elite. It's yeah, fine. it is fun. Yeah. It's fine. I, I liked it. I, I get to buy Aliens. I mean, mm-hmm. that's all I want. Yeah, it's either do all that stuff or work on my model. So I don't know what I'm doing yet. Alex, show off the model. I want to see oh, the Titanic snap, you, model. Look, you had to ask. You had to ask. I did. So I just started it. But you see all these pieces? Yep. And you see that guy? Mm-hmm. I'm going to put literally watch a show and just go to town. Just go to town. I'm very excited for you. You seem very excited. Mm-hmm. And I'm happy for you. It looks I'm, really I'm cool. Big, I'm excited to see the finished product. I'm a big model person. I like putting stuff together, you know? And just mm-hmm. like, I like building stuff. Like, I mean, it's I have to together a little Titanic. Factor. You do have two so, Gundams. I forgot about that. Yep. Yep. I had a third one, but it broke, and I don't know what happened to it. My queue is it away. as heavy as it ever been. I have yet to play Boyfriend Dungeon, which I want to. I have finished mm-hmm. 12 minutes in Death's Door, at least, so that, that's mm-hmm. been marked off. I am going to continue grinding out the Destiny season. I am probably going to go... Oh, Last uh, Stop. That's the one I want to try. Yes, yes. I want to play uh, Recompile. I want to play uh, Library of Ruina. I want to try out um, Ghost of Shima Director's Cut, go to Iki Island, get some cool armor. Not right now. There's a lot. There's a lot. I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know how much I did of that over the week. Most likely, I will just play Destiny and nothing else. So don't be shocked. No, yeah, I'm going nah, to at least, at least play one thing. I'm going to at least play one thing. I don't know what it's going to be yet, though. Mm-hmm. Jeebus, that's your show for the week. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, this is a long one, so thank you for, for not only listening this far, but being a dedicated achiever. Now, if you want to go the extra mile, remember, if you would like to support us freely, like, comment, share with a friend on this very YouTube page that you're watching. Or if you're on a podcast service, you can give us a five-star review and subscribe to our little feed there to get notified when we upload. If you're on YouTube, remember, click that bell that notifies you every time you get one. I know it seems like an extra step that's unnecessary, but if you're like me, and because subscribing to a channel is free, I subscribe to them all the time, your homepage is very filled with a lot of uploads, so if you notify the ones you actually really want to watch, it's an easier way to watch the, the show. If you want to give us any sort of money and support us financially, of course, patreon.com slash cgachievers. Pennies a day helps us out so much. It's only a dollar a month, and that helps us out tremendously. That help make the show better, new mics, cameras, etc. Thank you so much for listening. We're going to go play Destiny 2. Alex promised me at the beginning of the show. He said he did not want to play Apex, and we're just going to go play Destiny 2. So that's, that's very nice of him. But don't forget to go achieve. Go achieve.